Now an array is simply a posh word for range, or a limited number of cells. But what is an array formula? Well an array formula will allow you to work with ranges instead of just individual cells. And not only just add up or work out averages for ranges, which we can do without an array formula, but allow you to work with perhaps two ranges together and do some mathematical equations. It might be best described as an example. If we take our arrays working file, we have in here a shopping worksheet where we can see a number of things we've bought, how many we bought, and how much they were each. If we wanted to work out our total shopping basket, we could currently multiply across each line and then add that up here. So if we were to carry that out, say so equals that one, multiply by that one, it's 356 for my bread. Let's replicate that to the bottom and then sum. So it's not too difficult to do, and we see that we've got 5217 as our total shopping bill. However, if we didn't want to go to either A, the trouble of creating this extra column, because we don't want the individual sums, we just want the total, or it would be easier at some point not to have to go through that first step, then we can use an array formula where we can say, take that column there, multiply it by that column there, and then give me the result. So if I come down here, put a little label, shopping total, and write a line so we can put our shopping total in here. So we're heading for this same total here, but with a single formula. So if I reference my two ranges, so I could say equals that range. Now there isn't a requirement for them to be in brackets, but I tend to do that to make it easier to read. So I'm talking about that range there, so that array, multiply it by that range there. Don't forget the brackets. Do you want to accept this correction? No. Okay, because I want to put brackets in, thank you. Now if I press return now and this works, that would just seem too easy. Return and I get a value. Okay, we know sort of why, because we haven't told it what we want to do to these ranges. Well, I want to sum them. So I put a sum function around the ranges and then press return. And I still get hash value. Now the problem is it doesn't really understand what I'm trying to do with two ranges inside a sum function. What I want it to do is effectively line these two ranges up as it has there and multiply them across as individual values. I don't want to add all these up and multiply by the total of those because that will not be the same answer. It has to multiply each index in the two arrays. So effectively, it lines the two arrays up. So the two arrays must be the same length, otherwise we'll get an odd result. And they must start together there. I could make this one start there, in which case it will do that by that, that by that, that by that, that by that, and that by zero. So the two arrays must match each other up. And in effect, I do have the formula correct. I've got one range as a column, the other range as a column. I want them to multiply across, so I've got my multiply sign there. And once it's done all the multiplications of all the elements, which there are five, I would like it to then sum them. What's missing is I actually have to tell Excel that these are arrays and to treat it as an array formula. Now, in order to do that, what I need to do is when I'm here in the cell, is I need to press Enter as normal. However, I also need to hold down Control and Shift and then press Enter. And what you'll find is it then works out. I get the result I was expecting here, 5217, 5217, bit of formatting and it looks exactly the same. Difference is the formula. If you look up here in the formula bar, you'll see the formula is exactly the same as I've typed, but it has these squiggly braces around it. So one before the equals and one after the closing bracket. Now you can't type them. Well, you can type them, but Excel doesn't understand it if you type them. If I go back into this formula, you'll see they disappear. And I could attempt to type them in, thinking, oh, I know what to do. I need to stick these squiggly brackets in. And then enter, and you find that what it does is it just repeats what you've typed in the cell. So you cannot just type these braces in. Let's delete them. To make it turn into an array formula, I hold down Control, Shift, and then Enter. That's the vital key to making it work. Then it will work as I want it to do. Take the two columns here, the two arrays, line them up next to each other, and multiply across each unit element. Then sum that total result, and I get my shopping total as a single formula 
instead of, in the case here, five, and then a totaling up one. So that's the clever arrays. And we have another sheet in here where we can do a similar thing, but I'm also going to throw an if in. So I could work out our average sales, which is our total divided by our items, but each line separately. So I could do that at the end, and then I could total those up. Instead, why don't we do this as an array? So let's say company average sales right to line. So I can put the value here. Let's move it across a little so it doesn't get lost. Put it there. So I want to take this column and I want to divide it by this column. But once I've taken all those values and divided it by those values, that will give me the average sale for each person. I then want the average for the company. So I need to run the average function around my two columns. Now again, if I just press enter, I get a value. If I go back in and tell it, hang on, I need this to be an array formula, please, where you're going to take one column and a second column. And in this case, divide one by the other. Having produced the result, I'd like you to then work the average out of the lot. It's control, shift and enter. And I then get the average company sale as 21.16 bit of formatting and it becomes $21.16. Now let's throw an if into the equation. What if I only want Bob's sales? Equals if this range equals that cell there, which is Bob, then I'd like it to work out that range there. So again, I'm just gonna put my ranges in brackets, not a requirement for it to work, but it means I can spot the ranges, comma, zero. So if going down this first range, I get the value Bob, which is in C18, then I'd like to take that value, please. Otherwise, I'd like you to give me a zero. However, once it's gone down this list, there are going to be a few Bobs, and it's going to have a few values. What do I want it to do with all those values? Well, I want it to add them up. So I put a sum around my if statement. Don't forget, because you're dealing with two ranges here, this needs to be an array formula. So control shift and enter. And it tells me that Bob's sales total up to 104,000. Bit of formatting, and it's $104,967. So that's array formulas, where you're working on two or even three or four columns at the same time, and you want it to work on the individual indexes within those arrays. So if you have four lists and you want it to work on all the first items in each list, then all the second items in each list, then all the third items in each list, then you're going to need an array formula, which is exactly the same as a normal formula. But when you enter, you have to do control, shift and enter. And that happens every time. Even if I go back in to edit, if I want to keep this an array formula, I have to do control, shift and enter again. If I go back in, edit and only press enter, then it reverts back to a normal formula and most of the time cannot then understand what you want and you'll get the hash value error message.